Yeah, so Bo, yeah, we live on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, man, the strip, <laughs> man, the bully, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody done the bully like Bo Rudder, man. Yeah, what they don't know is we at your old building. Yeah, man, we had to post up right in front of my old building just to let everybody know I did get my money back. It's a beautiful sight. The security's still there. Ain't nothing changed. I'm still free. That's the main thing. So look, uh, speaking of free, this segment is sponsored by SKA. So go to skatingkings.com, pick up your gear. Skating Kings, you know this, what's This up. segment, this segment is, uh, 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 what's going on, brother? Uh, Jelly Roll, right? Yeah, Jelly Roll, what's we up, man? Glasses. No. Glasses, oh, that's Jim Malone. Yeah, that's Jim, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hey, man, yeah, Mike yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, though? Yeah, what's up, house, my boy, Jim Malone? Glasses in the house. That real one. That's Stay right. up, loved one. On Hollywood Boulevard, that's what we do. They know Bo, Bo know them. Yeah, so sir. look, man, uh, Bo, we back, like I said, dysfunctional. Go to dysfunky.com, they're a hell of a sponsor, too. Now look, Bo. Bo ready to general. Yes, sir. What they don't know is, uh, didn't Trey D discover you in Long Beach? Yes, sir. Rafino, rest in peace. Rafino discovered me. Trey D signed me to, uh, you know, to the east side, or I mean, to the general's list. But Rafino was in charge of the general's list, so I was the last song to get on there, man. You know, rest in peace to Rafino. Shouts out to Big Trey D and Snoop Dogg. I love them to death. My partners for the city. Well, you know, you know we get out. they're icons from the game, and they chose you, so that means you got talent. Ah, man, you know, <laughs> the thing about that talent, man, it only goes so far. Right. You got to have all the plugs, all the resources, and all the aspects, T's and I's dotted. Because talent ain't enough. Right, 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 you know? right. You gotta have some smarts to go with it, right? Right, the brains to go with it. And then sometimes you gotta know the know-how to say, maybe that ain't for me right now. Let me try something different. Yeah. You know, because a lot of my, you know, a lot of, a lot of my peers that do music, they get stagnated on music. Yeah, yeah. Like they can't do nothing else. Like me, I ran this building with 70 rooms and got $500 a room. That's $35,000 a month right here on Hollywood Boulevard for four years of my life. So yeah, I wanted to be the rapper, but I'd rather be the real estate agent and get some real estate money than be the rapper. Right, now we are gonna get into that. Yeah, I'm right? talking about. Because that's, that's one of the reasons why we sitting here in front of this building. Yeah. They let you go. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah. That's to say bounce back and go bigger, right? Bounce back, go bigger, absolutely. Right, so we gonna get into that. But at the yeah. time, you know, you in Long Beach, you dropped the album. I, I dropped the album, yeah. You had the record yeah. with Trey Yeah, I had to, I had to, I had to. I had to, I had a, I had a song with, 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 with Snoop on it. Uh, Trey D got on another song, but Rafino picked the song that was my solo song called Shining. And he put that song on the album which featured my wife, Miss Asia. You know what I'm saying? So that's what was so significant about it. Because I was going to put Ty, who sang, everywhere I go, all I ever seem to hear is, and I took her off. He was like, no, nah, I want the original lady. And it was Miss Asia. Okay. And so that put us in rotation. After that, I went to BMG, a couple other little labels that gave me a little bit of money and never put out the music. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Now, well, I remember you was in 5150, right? Oh, yeah. I had that little, they signed, I had a little publishing company with them that uh, I put together, got sponsored by all them. They gave me some bread, you know what I'm saying? And that was just the movement that we was with at the time. That never happened. Right, right. I mean, this is a business. You, you Every gotta, day. You know, if you don't fail, you won't succeed. Every day, that's the whole thing about failure. I learned how to succeed in a whole nother lane. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Now look, what I've known from day one, Bo, you know how people be like, oh man, you know, I got shows popping up. I'm at the hole in the wall. I'm, I'm at the shotgun shot. I, uh, the smoke out, uh, uh, power fest. Yes, sir. Every major club in Hollywood, the Ivar, That's right. Hollywood Atlantic Club. I mean, it just keeps on going down. Uh, the Oak One. Yes, sir. It wasn't the Oak One then. It was a uh, um, I forget the name, but then you had the Rainbow, the Roxy Club lingerie. I mean, every major club, celebrities, stars. I mean, from Mark Sparks to Kenny McLeod to actors, rappers, they with you, bro. Yeah, I got. A, I, I, I. I pray every day for faith, favor, and fullness. So it's nothing to do with me or my personality because a lot of people say I'm not a likable person. But if I'm praying for favor, that's what I'm gonna get when I get out in the world. So whether he John Blow from Watts or Superstar from Beverly Hills, they still gonna show me love 
on the basis that I'm praying for favor when I step out the door. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So in the music game, I always got favor. I always got favor. I did songs with Chris Brown, 50 Cent, right. Snoop Dogg several times, the East Siders, the Young Bloods, Lil John. This the, the names could go on and on. Now, the that thing was Boss is, Life Entertainment, right? That's under my label. Right. I own the masters and everything. Right. Boss Life. Boss Life. You know what time it is? The Boss thing Life. is, the thing is, before I let them take my music and stamp it as theirs and they had nothing to do with it, I'd rather keep it on iTunes. Right. <laughs> right. Smart. Right. <laughs> you know, because everybody they gonna come. So when the day come, I own my master. Very and all important. the features. Very important. <laughs> so now look, you done Boss Life Entertainment. I mean, and you fucking with everybody in the town, you're well respected, right? Hey man, and thank God for that. You're doing real estate. And I remember at one time, man, you was doing vitamins too. Yeah, I was selling them vitamins. I had a vitamin company called Men's Elite Health over there in Glendale. Uh, we actually checked a million dollars over there at that, doing that for about several years. And uh, it dried up, so I switched lanes again. So I decided to, uh, you know, take me a little trip out the country, linked up with my business partner, Miss Fiona Dixon, start doing solar farms, windmills, and incinerators, turning trash and electricity mm -hmm. over there in Thailand, coming with bank guarantees, come with the money, the bank give you the money oh, yeah, to hire the workers. On top of that, it's equal, equal friendly and you're saving the planet. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm you saving you the planet. Right. Absolutely. And I'm giving people jobs. Most important. You know. No, wait, where you from? California. California, right? Yes, okay, sir. okay. I just wanted to make sure because they always try to say Ca Cali California. niggas don't. Yeah, we give back. Right. Yeah, okay. We give a lot back. Okay. I've been giving back to this right here on this boulevard. I took all the homeless people that was under 25 and I gave them their own studio, their own business. Don't let oh, go ahead. Y'all got it back. I gave them their own business. The city told me that I was a slumlord because I didn't run their social security and I didn't make them pay first and last, but I did make them pay a partial deposit in that month rent. Yeah, you know, we live, y'all. We live on Hollywood Boulevard, so we got left past. Now you was talking about what they did to you. So what they did was, he told me I needed to leave the country. I hired an attorney, 100 people was arrested, 200, Armed guards came there, kicked down the doors, helicopter shut down this boulevard for a whole day to find nothing but one assault rifle in the basement. And they had nobody to blame because the basement was locked with a lock because I locked it all up. I put the door on here, the Compton door, you know, where you can't get in. Okay. <laughs> they had to come find me to get the key to get up in here because I wanted to get a youngsters five, ten more minutes to get they. We we'll together, together right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Because right. they were slipping. So I put the can't get in door on there. And it's still up right now because they so, couldn't get in. So what you tell them is your history is uh, icons in the game chose you, Long Beach. You know, uh, not only did they choose you, they represented with you. So you seen it physically and you heard it as well. Absolutely. So then you took that game and turned it into Boss Life Entertainment. Now yeah. you took Boss Life Entertainment to another level. And then you took your smarts and then you put it into a building. That's called real estate, right? Yes, sir. That's called ownership, right? Yes, sir. So now I want to know what your new venture is. You know, now, now Hollywood, they feeling like they did something. Oh yeah, we put Bo out. We, yeah. we don't want them. We don't want them to be political. We don't want them brothers up in there, man. Nah, they don't he, want he ain't the right there. one. No. Nah. But no, tell us about your new venture. The new venture consists of. Me venturing out of the United States, get my passport, because I've been on parole, probation, all my life, you know, and finally I get off. So three years ago, I decide I'm gonna take me a trip to Thailand. I met my business partner down the street at the juice place, leaving from the studio. She was gonna build a studio. Uh, and uh, we decided to do our own thing together. I ended up going to Thailand with a little bit of funds, we started uh, Boom Vonnet, which was our uncle's company, which is a 74-year-old company with an extended, super great credit line. So we took that over. We took some money, we put some bank guarantees along with the, with the, with the, with the credit, and we bid it on construction jobs, and we got one in Laos. Wow. I did a ceremony over there in Laos, which is 
70 miles away from the Thailand border. You know, TV ceremony was in the newspaper. No, wait, wait a minute, Paul. Because, you know, they're listening to you, but they you they're talking not so fast. Him. Yeah, they're not hearing. Now, it just flew over the head. Right, you said Laos. Laos is L O A S. And that's it's in... right next door to Thailand. Okay. So it goes Thailand, Laos to the west, and Burma, which is to the east, Myanmar, where the eighth wonder of the world is at. There's right. a gold temple with a 70 karat diamond at the top Ooh. where all the Buddhas go and pray. And, it's, and, and the blessings is best based on the day of the week you were born, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So they got a individual section where you go pray on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday if you're Buddhist. Okay, so you set the scene. Now tell us why when they're ushering you into this meeting, the American. Well, I'm the only brother, first of all. Man. I'm the only American, second of all. I'm the only one that don't speak their language. So I got an interpreter who's my business partner. Sharp as a double-edged sword, Seren Tip Dixon. Her dad's a doctor. You know, she has been doing this stuff for years. And- uh, Shout out Miss Dixon. Miss Dixon, Fifi Low, Fendi Fifi. Shots out, you know how we get down, 619. Uh, sounds like it. What we did was, we capitalized on allow. We basically closed that deal through a man named Banana who, owned, who, who runs the whole 50 megawatts. 50 megawatts is 75, 85,000 solar farms. We only got five megawatts. That's 3,500 that we putting up at a 45 degree angle with the sun to bring energy to them people. Fiber optic wiring, all that type of stuff. I'm changing the environment, the world. Something big, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. So look, what they want to know is they, they, they looking, they like, well, uh, it's, is he a nigga? Is he, uh, is he poor? I, man, I know Bo, he's Puerto Rican. Yeah, but man, my name Pedro Torres. I was raised in Compton, Long Beach, and Inglewood around nothing but black. So yeah, I'm just like you. Ain't nothing different, my name just for Latin. You know, so I'm, I'm pretty much like a, just like everybody else, I'm brown. You know what I mean? I'm brown. So, I'm so just, wait, wait, cause you know, Donald Trump said, uh, you know, if you don't like it here, go back to where you come from. I wouldn't know where to go. Right, cause they brought us here, right? <laughs> so we trying to build a place to go to. Yeah, cause my mama black from Africa. <laughs> so no matter what my dad was, I care about a black woman. That's All right. my brothers and sisters is black. I'm the only one with a mixed dad. So I don't know about no colors and all that. My good friends is white. My, my, my old landlord was Jewish. He owed me $30,000. After six months, he gave me a $30,000 check. Oh, he's a good so, man. Now. So regardless of whatever the newspaper had to say about this man, he owns seven of these big buildings on this boulevard, and you can't take his money away from him because he's his old money. Right. So all right. you can do is sit and watch. Right, because he ain't even got to the new These money. signs that's hanging on these walls is enough to pay for this whole building. $30,000 them people give him to hang up the sign. I know all the business. Right, right. This right. was my buddy Steve's club. Steve's gone. He moved to Portland. He ain't fucking with nobody. Boss life. You know. My so, so look. Bo, you're big, man. Well, now, what, what's the name of the company? Boom Vonnit. Boom Vonnit. B-O-O-N-V-A-N-I-T. And tell them exactly what you're building and what I'm you're I'm building solar farms, incinerator plants, and windmills over there in, in uh, Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar. So you can Google my company. I've been in business. It'll say 60-something years. Yeah, that's true. That's all facts. Nothing's fictitious. Uh, I'm a mom. I'm sitting here with my brother 619, we 20 years deep. And yeah, I'm, I'm worth some million dollars right now. It just ain't came yet, but it's on the way. Right, so, so now, at the same time that you have your business in order and correct, you got a new project coming up. Oh yeah, well I got one on the internet right now that I, I did when I came from Thailand last year. I recorded it just while I was just, you know, in and out. Mm -hmm. And it was called Rhythm and Burr, so Thank God, by the grace of God, I got five stars on that album. So I'm doing a new album called Flew Over the Head. Wait, 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 bro, hold it. Yeah. You see, you're talking so fast. Yeah, my bad, excuse me. Excuse me, uh, okay, California, LA, Long Beach native, 
five stars. Five you know, that stars. Don't, that don't happen. They don't treat West Coast like that. Nah, that don't happen. I, you I think go, the last five stars was Kendrick Lamar, and I'm not lying. Yeah, you can go Google a lot of these clowns out here that's talking about that garbage, and they ain't got five stars. You can go put that rhythm and burst in there, Bob, or rather the general. And you're going to see I got five stars. Not three, not two, not one. Five stars on my album. Five different songs. Okay, so uh, and this is rhythm and birds. It's called rhythm and birds. Five stars. Yes, sir. iTunes. iTunes. Pick it up. Oh no, I'm all right, brother. Go ahead. You got it. So look, uh, Bo. So what's the first single off the record? Well, the first single I released off that uh, that that rhythm and birds was so faded. I got a video uh, that's on YouTube. It's called So Faded. You know, I've been so busy over there in Thailand working, doing my thing. I ain't really did no promoting. I ain't really did nothing. I just put it up for my own enjoyment. Don't worry about that, man. Do your thing, man. Take your pictures, enjoy it, man. Nephew, you're going to be 620, boy. I want to see you dunking on everybody. That's right. Yeah. Play basketball. Are you what? Yeah, he don't look at him. He like, y'all got this. <laughs> yeah. So wait, now wait, man. Go ahead. Tell me about the first single again. Yeah, it's called... Uh, Faded. Mm -hmm. I got a, I got a feature with uh, I got a feature with a uh, cat from down there in Las Vegas, real talented. Uh, and uh, we put together the song right here in the studio. I did the whole album over here in the studio. What's up, Dan? Y'all right? Yeah. Yeah, we put the whole album together in the studio, bro, right here. Now, from what I understand is you just came off tour. You was overseas doing the whole thing, right? Yeah, I went and did a couple little shows while I was overseas. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, tell me about there. it. How was that? The, uh, the atmosphere over there, they love hip-hop music. They love new artists. Really, they don't know which one is which, so they just so excited to see you. They so excited to hear your music. They purchase merchandise. They do it all. Unlike out here, they don't do nothing. Yeah, for some reason, uh, but we had to change that. We had to yeah. change that because for one thing, you got rock legends. You know, they could be smoked out, cracked out, heroined out, so. drunk out, and they fans still respect them. Oh, you absolutely. got the black artists hit the pipe a couple of times and get on that heroin or something and be seen. All of a sudden, they didn't lost all the respect from a hundred million records sold and helping out a hundred million rappers want to entertain. All of a sudden, they just the worst thing in the world. I don't understand why that happened amongst our people. We want to support each other. Right, but we had to change that. You know what I'm we saying? We got to change. So look, what's the name of the what's the name of the new album that you working Flew over the head. Flew over the head. Yeah, flew over their head. Flew you know, over their head. I'm figuring like I'm going on these international trips. The shit I'm seeing gonna fly over their head. The jet that I'm on, that first class jet in the front of it, I just flew over their head. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. You feel me? Right. Hey, love one. You feel me, love one? I just flew over their head. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, I'm that's, that's what right. I was. I was on that first class jet on 16 hour flight, and I just flew over their head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always oh, say, look, look. Now you know um, Eric Sermon. He got his own streaming company. That's right. What's up. He started Big his own streaming company. So I'm telling all because he he already into it. I'm telling all the brothers I know. Create your own streaming service because you know how you send your music to somebody and they get it played for you. Uh, they collecting your funds, right? And they ain't even telling you they're available for you. No, they ain't gonna tell you. Right, right. I know it's a lot of markets out there, a lot of streaming radio stations, Tada, or whatever, everything, right? Yeah. So this is some game that I learned from Eric Sermon, and Eric Sermon, I want to thank you. You know, so now it's on Beretta. He's West, gonna have West. his own streaming service. Yes, Russia. sir. He's international. Yes, sir. Bon bon. Bon, bon. Yeah, come on, baby. So, uh, there's some people you want to give a shout out to, some, some loved ones out there you want to tell? Special shouts out to Kenny McLeod, the maestro, Fingers, for always touching my music and making it sound A1 Day 1 quality. Shouts out to producer NY, J Beats, uh, to my family. My kids, especially because y'all, the only reason why I find a hobby to find in any way. And uh, anybody that supported my music, especially, shouts out to Fifi Low, aka Pendy Fifi, Seren Tim Dixon, 619, and that boy, 
Pat Link and all my folks that I love to death from back in the days. Because without y'all, I wouldn't even still be doing this. I just remember my real friends that love to do music and ain't worried about the checks, ain't worried about the Hollywood and the glitters and glamour. So that shots out to them for sure. And all my niggas from the turfs, every hood in LA. You know how we get out, because I go anywhere I want to. So now, what, I can, what's your website, IG.com? My Instagram is Beretta the General. My Twitter is Beretta the General. www.bosslifeentertainment.net. And, and they can call uh, Sway in the morning time. Uh, you can request uh, any song off that rhythm and bars, connected, trims. Put Beretta or Beretta the General in your, in your search and my music pop up. Beretta the General. Yeah. Now, Rhythm and Birds is hard. Oh, man. The Connected album. <laughs> the Connected album. I had, a, I had the Connected album. I did the Still Connected album. Then I did the Rhythm and Birds. So I got albums for the last six, seven years. Real talk. Every year I put out a new one. Mm. So Just, look. Every time y'all in Hollywood Boulevard, y'all people come to visit from all out of town, out of state. Address 6364, Hollywood Boulevard. Just know, Beretta the General used to own that building, but now he's international. Big million dollar deals overseas. He's issuing out jobs. He's issuing out eco-friendly products. Yes, sir. He's issuing out earth-saving products. I want to thank you, Bo. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Shouts out to Rich and Rod, my brother. Y'all can always shop on Hollywood Boulevard at the Rich and Rodden store. Oh, yeah. We all started together, you know what I'm saying? We all Rich and Rodden. Rich and Rodden right down the today, but I still stay Rich and Rodden, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, when you stay player. Yeah, it's nothing to stay designer when you come from the projects, you know what I'm talking about? It's just a way of life. <laughs> you stay player, bro, that's you for sure. You gotta do it, you know so what I'm saying? You, I appreciate you, love one, for your time, for coming to fuck with me, man. Yes, sir. So well yeah. famous TV, I just bought you Beretta Bro, the General. Famous, baby. Go pick up the album. Yeah. Just type in Bo Redder the General. Bo Redder the General. Bo Redder the General. Yes, sir.